the Better Crypto Scanner just got an update. We added Bybit. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it and how it actually brings you to the TradingView page. I also want to give credit to my cameraman. My cameraman today is my son. He's going to also be asking questions because some of you might be basically like a 10 year old boy and you have literally no idea what I'm talking about. So here on bettertrader.io is the Better Crypto Scanner. A scanner is essentially something that's always looking for something. This scanner specifically looks for irregular or strange or wild price action for lots of charts on lots of different time frames. The scanner itself is updating all the time. It updates about every four hours. You can sort by the exchange. You can see the trading pair for the exchange, the rolling high of the last 24 hour period, the rolling low of the last 24 hour period, and then the last recorded price. The near 24 hour low is different. What we do is we look at the low price of a thousand sats and the last price of a thousand sats. And last price is 9.6% higher than the low. Let's assume for a hypothetical situation that the market is really bullish and then there's a sudden one day pullback. So we want to find charts that have pulled back a lot. We can sort by the 24 hour low, low to high or high to low. So if we choose low to high, let's go to Binance.com and we're going to go to the BTC market and we're looking at all the pairs sorted from the near 24 hour low, low to high. This is helpful to know because hypothetical situation at the market super, okay, you're really close again. The price comes down and then the price is gonna have a quick rebound. So we would wanna sort like this. The spread is a measurement between the low and the high of the last rolling 24 hours. So when we look at trading view, and I wanna to go to just the chart for Bitcoin. It's gonna show me for the day, the high for the day, it says right there is $67,386. The low, it's 63,300. The problem with this is that this changes every single day. So when we get a new daily candle, that high and low value resets. Whereas with the scanner, this is a rolling 24 hour spread. Yep, so instead of it being automatically reset and everything zeroes out at the end of the day, it just keeps looking back and looking forward. This is really, really useful because we want to look for volatile moves in the market. So if I sort by spread, I want to do high versus low. And let's choose KuCoin. TXAUSDT on KuCoin has a high of 0.024, a low of 0.00535, and a last of 0.00657. So this tells me that this chart pumped. And look at that, it pumped a ton. The last thing I wanna just help you remember how to use this thing again is that we can use this to filter things out. Right here at this third dropdown, it says all spreads, less than 10%, 10 to 20%, or more than 20%. Now, why doesn't it say something like more than 50%? It seems like a lot. It is a lot, especially for a one day candle, but you'd be surprised. I mean, if I go to more than 20%, there are tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of charts here over 20%. How about under 10%? The spread category being below 10 is good for identifying possible GridBot candidates, but we're not at that point in the market at all. GridBots are really good for when we've topped out or we've bottomed out and we're just gonna be grinding sideways. This is the update. And now that I've caught you all up to how to use this, and do you have any other questions, buddy? No. Sure? Yes, of course I'm sure. I'm never sure. I'm, not, I'm always sure, not I'm never sure. You're doing a great job. The, <laughs> the um, update I want to share with you is that we've recently added Bybit, finally. I'm going to show you this. Let's do pair Z to A. Now in the drop down menu, we've recently added Bybit. And Bybit's great because it's a great perpetual futures trading platform. It has a really good, uh, really wide and diverse derivatives tickers symbols that we can trade. And it's been really fun for trading. So now we can actually figure out which charts are pumping. And I want to say this too, that you'd be surprised the price will be different on Bybit compared to OKX futures, compared to Binance futures, compared to KuCoin futures. So now I can come over here to the scanner. I can do the same thing. I want to sort by spread high versus low. And I just want to look at the top 10 biggest movers for the day. It's Bendog, then Zeus, Popcat, Dar, MBL, Maneki, Turbo. So I'm going to click on Bendog, but here's the thing. When you click on it, it's actually not going to pull it up yet because unfortunately our dev still has to make this fix. So in order to see it, you actually have to go over here and click where it says Bendog, delete the last part where it says USDT and the colon, and then it's going to show Bendog.com. P. So we can come over here to the chart and see, yeah, Bendonk's been on a really big move. If we measure it from bottom to top, it says 31%. Over here, it says 32%. So it's again, it's looking at that longer time frame spread. Your arms are super tired, aren't they? 
and it's been 15 minutes. I mean, I could just talk for another 15 if you want. No, we... you would kill me. I would have to drop the phone. It's not too late to get rich in the 2024 bull run. Go ahead and click on this video that's going to pop up right here. Yep. No, 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 don't move it. It's a little button that pops up. You can't see it, but they can on the video. Watch this video. Until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.